Yo, what's up, my fishing people? Evan with Spin Exercise Tackle here. We're out on a different part of the river. It's starting to rain, so we're gonna enjoy it with what we can. I'm gonna show you how to set up a bobber, and I already got it set up, so I'm just gonna be showing it off. There's a couple different ways you can do this. This is not the only way. This is just one of the ways with what I had to set it up with today on the river to run and use this rig. So I'm gonna show you the breakdown. So what we got here is our main line. This is a 30 pound super slick V2. It's aqua blue in color. And here we got a pretty loose bobber stop that I need to change out, which kind of sucks. It's at the top of the rig, so we're gonna have to cut it. So what we got here is we got our bobber stop, we got a bead. I like to run a corky below the bead so you can know when the line's laid over top like this, it's gonna fold it over and that corky is not gonna be facing vertically up like it should be. And so below that, we got another bead to fit right, the line's wet, but to fit right in that hole, and then we got a three-way barrel swivel right here with a clip for our weight. This, uh, I think this is a 1 8 ounce Dragon Ball. It's, it's rubber coated, so it bounces along the rocks nicely, but that's not what we're using it for. If, but if you're drift fishing, that's a good application. This is about 24 to 36 inches of a leader line. I think this is 15, 15 pounds uh, salmon and steelhead leader. And then this is a Mustad jig we're running today. I don't have any of my jigs tied up. But if you walk over here, I'm gonna show you what some other stuff that you could use. Here's some other jigs that I picked up from our local market by Mart, but this is the main stuff that you're gonna be running. Like I said, I don't have any of my jigs here yet, but as soon as I get some time to tie up some personal jigs, that's definitely what I'm always gonna be fishing for floats. So this is a good line rating. You could go from 15 to 20 to 25 pound, all the way down to 10 pound, whatever you guys feel like. Here's some terminal tackle. We got some split shots right here, size seven. If you wanted to run the beads, we got some hooks, other stuff. We got some jigs, some variety, different colors for different days because you never know when the steelhead are going to be biting. In here, these are like some of my old prototype jigs. I think these are a quarter ounce. They've been sitting in the box for a while, for dirty. We got another nightmare pattern. This is what I'm going to be tying up soon. Some different colors of this and uh, different variations, but especially the nightmare pattern. Then we got some other hooks and uh, jig heads for worms. So that's one thing. And there's one thing I did want to tell you guys that here soon I'm going to be having some jigs with worm keepers on them so you're going to be able to uh, have that worm keeper up into your worm, your plastic worm, so it's not sliding down. So I will have those available soon. I look forward to it and I'll see you guys next time.